Staten Island can certainly be an adventure, and for one family, it's an adventure that's taken them to the other side of the world to find each other. CBS 13's Jenna Barnello has their story. A ferry finds its way to Shabig Island multiple times a day. When you arrive, consider yourself lucky if Beverly Johnson picks you up. Pretty famous. <laughs> She's lived on the island since the 70s and has quite the resume. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> a lobsterman, master plumber. I have always wanted to be in the Olympics at some point. I and Olympic torchbearer at the 1980 Winter Olympics in Lake Placid. One of the referees gave me a left-handed stick because they had plenty of them. She watched the miracle on ice in person. It's like one of the most exciting moments of your life. Yeah. Or so she thought. Nearly 20 years after the underdog United States hockey team beat the Soviet Union, Johnson would adopt three children from Russia. And I think back now, I think, what if we hadn't done that? How boring our lives would be. Johnson's greatest accomplishment is her family. Her daughter, Vika, is now the Shabig Island town clerk. I got adopted to an island off the coast of Maine to a fisherman and a master plumber who happens to be the woman. You know, it's, so I think it's very, um, very unique and very different, but I'm really grateful for it. She's grateful because she almost got left behind. You <laughs> got what, the Johnsons adopted Vika's younger brother and sister in 1996. One night when I was putting him to bed, and Dennis says, can we find my sister, Vika? And he was talking a little bit more about Vika, and then he started to cry. They tracked her down and adopted Vika in 1997. Kind of surreal. It doesn't feel like it was me or it was my life. In Russia, Vika found herself acting as a parent to her younger siblings, Dennis and Dasha, at just nine years old. Both their parents suffered from substance abuse. And there would be, you know, two or three nights in a row where it would just be the three of us. So it was up to me to kind of do what a parent figure had to do. Social workers separated Vika from her brother and sister. She found out they got adopted and was crushed. I remember for many, many weeks after that, just laying in bed and crying because I was so sad. Um, and then it was probably about six, eight months later that the same person came to the orphanage and said the family that adopted them want to take you. 20 years later, Vika and her sister Dasha still live on the island. Their brother Dennis lives down south. I just... I mean, it was a remarkable time. It was really, uh, I think it was a very good move. I was really happy we did it. And so is Vika, who now has a daughter of her own and will get married this summer. And I don't feel like there's been a void in my life, even though for the first 12 years I had nothing. A life now full of family and island adventures. You're an Olympic torchbearer, master plumber, adopted three kids from Russia. Yeah. What's next? <laughs> I don't know yet. I don't know yet. On Shabig Island, Jana Barnello, CBS 13 News.